Where's my sheet mask fam at? I'm coming at you today with another sheet mask review, this time on the Yeon Everyday Natural Care Essence Sheet Mask Pack of 12. You get 12 masks for $10 on Amazon. That's less than a dollar to take care of your face. This is the third Whopper set of 12 sheet masks that I've reviewed in a single set on my channel. If you wanna watch my other sheet mask reviews, I will link my playlist below or at the end of this video, you can check out the other reviews. Besides having the typical green tea, alloy, and collagen masks, in this set there are a few unique flavors or types, such as snail and halibut, which it, I did a little bit of research on, and it seems to be like a Korean version of a mandarin orange. So I thought that was really cool and interesting. The allure of these masks is that they're supposed to be made up of all natural ingredients. Did these hydrate? Did these itch? Did they have no effect? Well, you'll just have to keep watching. Pop on a sheet mask with past me and see my first impressions. And then we'll do my final verdict. On to the impressions. Okay, it's sheet mask time. We're going to pick one sheet mask. Well, this one will do a sheet mask for the first time. Is that correct? Okay, what do you want? Which one do you want to try? This. Cucumber. Okay, let's <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do cucumber. So, you're gonna try on your face and you're gonna tell me how it feels, like, okay. what the mask feels like, what it smells like. Well, I don't even know how to put one. Uh, demonstrate how to put a mask on. So, which one should I do? Maybe I'll do Lotus. I've never tried a Lotus mask before. And this specific mask is supposed to brighten and clear dull skin, so... If you have like any grayness like in your area, it's supposed to like, brighten it up. That has a different effect for cucumber, I don't. so we'll look at that in a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. Because it's a lotus mask, it's supposed to smell like a lotus or something. Like okay. That. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to see what it smells like, because sometimes it doesn't smell like what it says. That smells really good. Mm. I mean, it smells like a flower because it's a lotus, right? But like, it smells like perfume. Mm. I don't smell it. No? It smells pretty good, actually. Yeah. It smells like lotion. <laughs> yeah, it smells like a, I guess like a lotus lotion. I actually didn't know this is what lotus smelled like. It smells like some other kind of flower. Bro, it looks like a pancake. Oh, okay, it smells like a pancake, girl. It looks like a pancake. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you look like a kind of like a mummy. What do you so you just kind of have to mommy? adjust it so it fits your nose over your eyes and doesn't poke you anywhere. Well, so but yeah, you... this one kind of feels more like lotion. Like it's a thicker. It's not just a wet solution. Some of them feel more gel-like. Some of them feel more lotion or wet. So this one is like. When do you remove it? So you leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Cool, so that's the lotus. Mm. I don't know if my skin will be bright. It's really hard to tell the effects of brightening, but maybe yours will have a more noticeable effect. Okay, and uh... So pull it out. Oh god, it's sticky. So, uh, it's folded, so open it up. I love how you open it, it smells like... What does it smell like? It's does it smell like human fever? Yeah. Okay. You don't have to be so dainty with it. Hold on. I mean, I don't oh, yeah, know. Try another size. See, there's a part that's poking out. Yeah, so open that up. Is it like a wet consistency? What does yeah, it feel like? I'll check it out. Oh, oh okay. So, yeah, it's kind of, um, yeah, it's kind of gooey, right? Okay, that's so like... find the eye part. And it, it takes some time to put it on. Sometimes I can't put it on. Quickly. I'm gonna look like a clown. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're, all, we're both gonna oh, look like ghosts. Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, so like slap it on your face. You have to adjust it when you get it on your face, so it's not like a... <laughs> Do you need to move your hair back? Do you need... Okay. <laughs> wow. Do you have like a clip? Oh no, I don't have it. Okay, well... Okay. Now like move it up a bit. Cause it's like, okay, there you go. Whoa. And then... <laughs> take... <laughs> take this part out of it. Sorry. And then... What if... <laughs> Wow, stop. <laughs> so let's see, what effect was that supposed to have? Where is it? It's supposed to be moisturizing and soothing. So you're supposed to feel, I think like a slight tingle feeling on your skin. Do you feel any tingling? 
You can look in the mirror too to make sure it's um. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, it's so weird. Both oh. looking like Jason. Okay, yeah, so we're both looking like Jason. Yeah. I'm a Lotus Jason, you're a cute confirmed Jason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you're gonna leave that on for like 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, god. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you and then tell. Every night? Not every night, like every few nights. My skin is dry and itchy, so it's sheet mask time. Tonight we're doing the canola honey. Look at this cute art. I feel like it almost looks like coloring book art. And this honey pot reminds me of Winnie the Pooh. You know how he always tries to eat honey out of the pots. This will provide moisturization to my dry skin. And on the back it says, it is nourishing, barrier strengthening, and calming. So it has some non-physical effects as well. Looks like it'll have some neural or mental effects. Hopefully good and noticeable. Mm, it smells good. It smells like aloe vera. It's probably some aloe vera in the formula. It's not really a honey scent. It really smells like perfumated or aloe vera as a lotion. <laughs> Solution is more on the wet side, not sticky. I thought it would be sticky because this is honey. This mask has a clothy feel. This above the lip strip is kind of being funny and it just twisted on itself. But otherwise, the mask just rolled onto my face. Very easy. Uh, my skin feels like it's having a nice little drink. See how it does with moisturizing and if it makes me feel calm. I feel like I already feel calm. <laughs> What is something you drink at night that helps you sleep better and relaxes you? Did you guess milk? Because that is the next sheet mask. I used to drink milk a lot as a kid. My mom told me it would help my bones grow strong. The milk messaging is coming across to the little cow in the corner in an old fashioned milk jar. So what do we expect from this mask? This will infuse my skin with nutrients and it will smoothen and moisturize. I mean, my face does feel like it has bumps and little things on it, so it's not entirely smooth. So hopefully this mask will do the trick. So this smells like Yakult, which is kind of a sweet yogurt milk that you'll find a lot of different versions of in Asia. This one has more of a jelly-like consistency. Yeah, I kind of feel like I'm putting you a cult on my face. Mmm, sweet milk. My milk mask is on, and I'll come back with my funny things later. Tea seems to be a very common main ingredient used in Asian sheet masks. Next mask is no different. We're doing the green tea mask. If you got fatigued or tired skin, this will help revitalize it and add back moisture. These leaves look kind of like mint to me, but otherwise it's giving off a very fresh green kind of imagery that I feel like will translate or I hope will translate into moisturization for my own skin. So let's give this a shot. Comment below and let me know if you like to drink green tea. Green tea is one of my favorite teas to drink hot or cold. The mask doesn't have a distinct green tea flavor. It's not bad, it just doesn't smell like green tea. The texture is similar to the previous sheet masks that I used. So these are pretty similar to each other in terms of how the solution or formula feels so far. The face is honestly probably tired of my itching. I've, my allergies have just been going haywire. 
not only have I been blowing my nose 24 7 but I've been itchy everywhere on my body Blech. so hopefully this will help a little bit I took allergy medicine too so at least this might help supplement the effects of that all right I'm going to get back to my evening and I'll let you guys know how this pans out I think I want to be smooth with an elastic face tonight so I picked up the collagen sheet mask to give me the smoothness and elasticity that I'm looking for. It says it will firm up loose skin. I don't really have loose skin but I did rub my face pretty profusely earlier to get the makeup off so this will help kind of bind things back together. Each of these masks have secondary benefits. On the back it says this is also smoothing and moisturizing. Now this is a very interesting depiction of collagen. Usually I see collagen as, you know, brown or clear. Or, I don't know, maybe I'm thinking more of gelatin or, you know, animal produced collagen, but this one looks like it has DNA and a giant raindrop with what would you call that? Like a atom or photon or something inside. It smells like fresh laundry. It's a nice, pleasant, comforting scent. The scent isn't as perfumey as the other masks I've used so far in this collection. This is very cooling on the skin for warm weather. Pro tip, use a sheet mask if you want to cool your face down when it's super hot outside. <laughs> rub this on other parts of my body so they can also get the smoothing and moisturizing effects. It's only the afternoon but I haven't been doing a sheet mask in a while just because for some reason I get super busy up until the evening time and the last thing I want to do is put a sheet mask on my face. I don't know why, it's kind of counterintuitive. The sheet mask is supposed to help you relax. So we're gonna try the afternoon. So that's why you can still see the sun streaming in and I'm in one of the rooms, not the bathroom like I usually am. Decided we try the brightening and revitalizing strawberry. Uh, I'm gonna try to do all the brightening masks in a row as an experiment to see if my skin does brighten up after using them. It says this will cleanse your skin, give you clear skin, it's calming. We'll see what strawberry does, if it does any brightening. Um, and I'll use the other brightening mask after it, so experiment time. You like the mousse on my pajama shirt? My family came back from an Alaska cruise and my mom likes to get me pajamas for gifts. Which is actually, when I was younger, I didn't really appreciate it that much, but now that I'm older, it's nice getting pajamas because I honestly don't go out and buy myself pajamas, and after a while, your pajamas get, you know, kind of ratty, so it's nice to get replacement pajamas once in a while. Ooh, this smells like strawberry gummy candy. I like strawberries, but they're not my favorite fruit because sometimes they can be too tart, but it smells delicious. Maybe I prefer the scent of gummy strawberry over the real strawberry. Cause I'm weird. This mask is a little bigger around the mouth area. The holes for the eyes are good though. They're not poking my eyeballs at all. Because the mask solution is a little sticky and wet, it kind of reminds me of strawberry jam because of how it smells too. Mm. Tonight we're going with another brightening mask. The mask we're doing tonight is Halabong. I thought when I looked at this mask, why isn't this just called an orange mask because this looks like an orange fruit? I looked up what Halabong was and it's actually a variety of mandarin orange. It's a cross between two types of Japanese oranges as well, also known as a shira nui. I didn't expect to learn about new fruits tonight, but there you go, getting some edumacation while my skin is getting hydration. That should be the tagline for this sheet mask review. <laughs> okay, let's try Halabong. This is going to brighten and energize my skin. 
Uh, orange is such a bright color, so I mean, that makes sense. It's very energizing. Let's give this a shot and maybe see our energy levels go up. I'm kind of curious now about halobong. I wonder how much like an orange it tastes like. Hmm. So far, it smells very orangey, but with a mix of that, you know, spa smell that I've come to know after trying on so many different sheet masks. This definitely does have a citrusy smell. Um, not like lemon, but definitely more in the orange side of things. Okay, the hullabong mask is now in my face. Let's see if it energizes and brightens my skin. Hey, welcome back to my bathroom. Tonight or this afternoon, it's not evening yet, we're doing another sheet mask, still part of the Yeon collection, and we're doing the pomegranate. This pomegranate says it will make my face smooth and shiny. Pomegranate mask to polish rough skin. Uh, my skin is looking pretty rough, at least the skin on my face. Uh, I don't think it's gonna help my scratching though. I scratched my neck last night, I had some weird sleep scratching. Uh, but at least I can do something about the roughness of my face. We'll try out the pomegranate mask. It also has other effects of smoothing and moisturizing. Mm. Such a fruity, fresh scent. Not too sweet at all. What time do you guys usually put on your masks? I've been trying to do it earlier. The solution has a really nice cooling effect too. I like it. All right, the mask is on. Let's see if it polishes up my skin. It's been a while, but I'm back to do another sheet mask with you guys. What I'm doing tonight is one that I've done before in terms of type, but with the Etude House Masks, and it is the Snail Sheet Mask. Now, I don't think actual snails were grounded up and made into a mask, or this is using the actual snail mucus. Like, you know, snail slime or mucus looks very sticky and maybe moisturizing, but the snail mask will apparently revitalize fatigued skin, and we just moved to a new place. As you can see, the background's a little different. There's some kind of warm, soft lighting in this area I'm standing in right now, um, so I definitely need this mask to soothe my fatigued skin. I imagine this is going to be sticky. I hope it's not actual snail mucus, that would be kind of weird, but you know, whatever, try something new, right? Or I guess I've tried this before, so maybe I'm the weird one. I'm gonna be using the flip screen as a mirror. It smells like men's cologne. Is that what snail mucus smells like, men's cologne? <laughs> Wow. It is very sticky. A lot more solution than the other masks. Maybe it is mucus. The snail mask is on my face. It revitalizes and helps, I guess, revive my tired skin. We're on to the second to the last sheet mask. And it is Ally. So this says it will soothe sensitive skin. Uh, my skin isn't super dry right now, but I can always use more soothing and moisture. Uh, looks like it also hydrates and moisturizes according to the back. So let's see if this calms my skin like it says on the tin. <laughs> smells like cologne. I guess they probably kind of sprinkle their own kind of cologne scent into it because I'm getting this really distinct scent. Um, that is shared across all the masks. Feels nice and cooling. Um, it's been about 75 to 85 degrees here on a daily basis, even though it's end of August, September. This cooling feeling is still much needed, especially since we don't have air conditioning uh, where we live right now. So this is almost like air conditioning for my face, but also with moisturizing, hydrating, and soothing properties. <laughs> Leave this baby on for 20 minutes and see what happens.
We're doing the last sheet mask tonight. We're finishing things off with a rose scented nutrition and brightening mask. So it looks like this will brighten uneven skin and I have an even skin, so hopefully I see um, more evenness after using this mask. This art kind of reminds me of the rose sitting in that domed glass that the beast had that was kind of shedding petals or tuxedo mask because you know he was throwing roses. But anyways, this is nourishing, moisturizing. It seems to be doing a lot of things. Let's see how it performs. It smells very soft and rosy, just how I like it. Not that overpowering kind of punching your face with rose or flower perfume. Ooh, this is pretty thick. The solution is pretty thick. Now back to future Leah. Just kidding, I'm back. What do you think? I feel like my face looks a little dewier or brighter after the mask. Comment below and tell me if you feel like it made a difference or not. Hello again. For my final verdict, I'm just gonna share ultimately what I thought about the masks and I have to say that I really like them. Um, for less than a dollar a mask, they are at an amazing price point. I get them again for some quick hydration and to share with two, three, four, five, however many friends you have. I don't even know if I have that many friends. There were no major cons for me when it came to these masks, so there isn't really anything to complain about. Just go into my general experience using the masks. These masks kind of inadvertently became my summer mask because I used them throughout the summer weeks. I think I got them in around June or July and didn't use them consistently, not every day or even every other day, but I tried to use one at least every few days or every week. And it was a fairly hot summer here. I would say that a lot of days were at least in the low to mid 80s, which doesn't sound very hot if you come from a tropical country or where you're somewhere where it's hot all year round. But for Seattle, that's pretty hot. And these did quench the thirst of my face. Uh, my face immediately cooled down when I placed them on. So it's always a plus when your mask cool you down in the hot summer heat. They were really easy to throw on. I just slapped them onto my face and I really didn't have to move flaps about or readjust or reposition them. Um, if I did have to move them around, it was just a slight you know, tweak to the side. And there wasn't that much friction, so I could easily move things around. If we're talking about the material, I would say that these are medium weight masks. They weren't papery thin, um, as in they would just like rip in half if you accidentally pull too hard, but they weren't heavyweight either, so they weren't made of a cloth material. If you like kind of that midway point between light and heavy, these would be a good choice for you. At around the 15 minute mark after I put each mask on, I would notice that they would dry out. I wouldn't say this is a bad thing. After using many types of masks throughout the last year or two, this is just something that I've noticed that almost every mask or set does. It's nothing really alarming, it just seems to be something that they do. In my first impressions, you got kind of my first look into each mask and using them. I wanted to go over a few notable effects that I noticed. First off with the honey canola, uh, my face was very itchy before I started using the mask. When I put it on, my face immediately stopped itching and I really felt that the solution absorbed into my face. It was kind of a thicker, sticky solution. Uh, like I feel like honey would be and it felt like it worked. The milk mask had a tightening effect and it did what it advertised. Um, after I put the mask on, my skin did feel tighter, firmer. If you're looking for a firming mask effect, the milk mask is probably a good choice for you. The snail mask was interesting. It left me with a shiny complexion, which I was kind of amused by. It wasn't like a bad thing and I was at home. It's not like I walked outside immediately afterwards with a shiny face, but if you don't want a shiny face, probably don't use the snail mask, but if you don't mind, I think the shininess is probably part of the brightening effect that it's supposed to give your face. I think I did film a snippet to show you an example of what my face looked like after I used the mask. I don't know, the gloss on my face was kind of cute. And finally, what I really appreciated about these masks was the introduction into just little bits and pieces of South Korean culture, such as the halabong fruit, 
which like I said is a variety of the Mandarin orange found on Jeju Island. Did a little bit of research. So that was something new and I just love new experiences, learning about different cultures, customs, what kinds of foods or objects have cultural importance in different countries. I really like to see that incorporated more into different types of masks, whether it's from you know Japan or Korea or another country. I want to learn more and get that global knowledge. <laughs> Overall, the masks had the typical brightening, firming, moisturizing, hydrating effect. And they did what they said. Um, I don't really have complaints. The firming mask firmed up. They delivered as promised, so we're a-okay there. So just to end things off, if you just want to add a little gift as part of a larger present to someone, throw in one of these sheet masks. It's good for your skin. It's not just another thing for them to have. It will actually do wonders for your body too. You can have one and then you can share it with your sister, your friend, your cousin, your brother, your uncle, whoever wants to sheet mask. We've reached the end. I hope that you enjoyed this review, that it was helpful in making your decision to buy these masks or not, or if you just enjoy watching reviews, I hope that you had fun during your time here. Oh, and comment down below and let me know which mask you'd like to try out. Do you want to try the snail one? Or is green tea more of your thing? Comment below and let me know. I do more of these reviews and so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future sheet mask reviews. And if there are any specific masks you love me to try, comment below and I will try them out and review them in the future. I hope your day in skin is nice and moisturized and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!